All right, everyone, the book we're using today is the Encyclopedia of Cookery, Volume 9. We're going to be making a pot pie made with chicken. This book was written in 1966 and published in New York. Here's a look at the table of contents. Although I did have a can of Campbell's condensed soup, I decided to go with a cream sauce that I did myself, including butter and cream and a little bit of flour dredged over the chicken before it was fried in the butter. The chicken I had sitting in a brine of milk and pickle juice to make it nice and juicy. Once you have all your ingredients together, your first step is to season your chicken cutlets. Once they've been cleaned and chopped in the size that you would like them, season them on both sides and then you can go ahead and chop them further into smaller squares about bite sized. When you're done cutting up the chicken you want to cut any vegetables you need to cut. My peas and carrots were pre-cut and frozen so I didn't have to do that. Next, add the butter to your saucepan or your pot, whichever you're using. And then for this part, I dredged the chicken in a couple tablespoons of just regular flour and then tossed them around just to make sure that it's completely coated in the flour. And I also wanted to make sure that the seasonings were completely distributed and so that they would sit all throughout the So at this point, you just want to keep stirring, 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 making sure that it doesn't stick too bad. It might get a little bit of sticking. And then you want to add your onions and the moisture from the onions will kind of do a little bit to keep it from sticking as well. So at this point, you just want to keep stirring and stirring and letting your vegetables cook through. Once the vegetables are mostly cooked through, you want to add the milk to make your cream sauce and continue to let it cook. At this point, you want it to kind of let it get to a small boil and that's how you know that everything is combined. Just try not to let it stick to the bottom and keep stirring and don't walk away from it for too long. All right, so once you've got everything combined and you've got it looking like the consistency of your filling that you prefer, go ahead and get your pie pan or whatever dish that you're gonna bake it in out. Unroll your prepared dough, or if you made some dough, make it into a circular shape because you're gonna want to take it and put it on top of the bowl once you fill it and you wanna want it already nice and cut into a circle. So roll out your dough and then put all your filling into the bowl or the pie pan or whatever you're using. And then you're just gonna top it with the pastry.
Now just go around and you don't have to do it any type of fancy way. Just make sure that everything is touching the sides and kind of pinch it around, uh, around the edges. And if you know how to do the little cute designs, go ahead. If not, just tuck it all down in there however you can. Once you're done tucking, you're going to want to cut a couple holes in the top for breathing room. And that is our almost done pot pie. We can see it's bubbling. And so now, about 30 minutes later, on 425, our pot pie is finished. Doesn't it look good? It tastes really, really good. Comment below if you tried this recipe. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe.